Hey, what's up guys? I'm Nico of Camp Crunch and today I'm going to do my first Strobus tutorial on this channel. And this is going to be how to create portraits with dark backgrounds, even though you're not in a dark environment or you don't have a black backdrop. And I know that this idea might seem difficult, but I assure you it's a very simple concept. And like I always say, when you break something down to its basics and understand how things work, uh, it's going to be a lot more simple and you will be able to, you know, alter things depending on how you like it. So there are a few things that I have to say before we start this tutorial and that is if you haven't seen my video on the introduction to flash photography, you can go check that out now or check it out after you watch this video and then watch this video again. It's going to help you a lot more because I go more in depth into how flash photography works. But just for the sake of this video, I'm going to break down what's important and that is that you have to stay below your maximum sync speed. So I know that my maximum sync speed is around 1 60th of a second with my triggers and my flash, so I'm gonna stay at 1 60th of a second or even lower than that, but I'm not gonna go above it. And the second thing is, you know, the basics of flash photography. You always expose for the ambient light without the flash, and then you add the flash in, and that's how you get good exposure. Don't come in, you know, with the flash all set up and trying to get the proper exposure through that. A simpler way to do it is expose for the background or for the ambient light, and then you add the flash. So in this case, we want a very dark background uh, without a black backdrop or without being in a dark situation. So what you're going to do is you're going to set your camera's exposure so that everything is completely black and then you add the flash. So essentially what's going to happen is you're not going to see anything but the light coming from the flash. So you can alter the strength of your flash depending on how much you need after you've exposed the background to completely black. And to demonstrate that I am going to do a little run through photo shoot with my brother. Before we get started, I'm just gonna let you know what gear we're gonna be using. I'm gonna be using a 5D Mark II with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. Uh, we're gonna be using YN 560 Speedlight from Nyong Nuo. We're gonna be using two of those. We're gonna start with one and then we're gonna add a second one later on. And we're gonna trigger those with Young Nuo RF602 transmitters. And that's basically it. I'm probably not gonna speak through the demonstration, but I'll probably do a voiceover so yeah, let's just get started. So the first thing you wanna do is get your background so that it's, com it's completely black. And you can do this by setting your shutter speed to your maximum flash sync speed or even lower than that. And then you adjust your aperture and your ISO. So you can lower your ISO or adjust or increase your aperture. And you can see I did that here. My settings were 1 25th of a second at ISO 100 at f5.6. And as you can see, it's completely black even when my brother's in the frame. The next thing I did was add the flash uh, and set everything up. As you can see, my flash is fairly close to my brother and it's uh, also zoomed into 80 millimeters and it's at the lowest setting because it's so close and it's also zoomed in so it's very powerful. And I put it really close so that it would decrease the amount of light that was spilled into the background because I wanted my background to stay completely black and I was afraid that if the beam of light was very big and if it was far away, it would spill onto the background and I managed to achieve an all black background as you can see here. It's a nice looking image. The light is kind of harsh, but you know, some people like this effect. But then I decided to take it further by adding a second flash as a backlight in order to separate my brother slightly from the background. I mean, it's really hard to do that because you are dealing with an all black background, but when you put a light behind your subject, it does separate them from the background and makes them look you know, three-dimensional, more three-dimensional than they already look with one light. And you can see that here. My flash is at the lowest power also, and it's zoomed in to 105 millimeters just to get that narrow beam. And as you can see, the light falls on his shoulders, the back of his head, and on his chin, just to give him that extra separation. But I wasn't too happy with it, so I decided to increase the power output just to see if it would separate him from the background a little bit more but it didn't work as well as I planned it to be and you will see the image in a few seconds here there's a very harsh light that comes from the back and that is because I increased the power slightly and I don't think this image is better than the previous image but I just wanted to show you what the differences were and then I just played around with the lights a little bit more but again, I didn't have a light stand for that backlight, so I couldn't adjust it too much. It's just resting on my bed, as you can see. Um, but this was a five minute portrait, and I hope you guys saw just how easy it is to create that black background. So when you see that, you know, that image with a black background, 
you know, just think to yourself that you can do it because it's not a hard concept. Again, just get, just expose your image so that the image in the background is completely black and then you add your flash.